Hey there, coach, consultant, service providers. My name is Aldrima Harper, and I just wanted to just quickly provide um, a little bit of value to you today. So I was on recently on a call with one of my clients who uh, we began one of actually one of her questions was about handling um, discovery calls. And so discovery calls are actually a significant part of your business as a coach, as a consultant, as a, a service provider, you, know, you definitely want to have some type of discovery call so that you can, number one, find out if they, if you all are a good match, if you can actually provide the type of service that they're looking for and things like that. And so, but one of the things that uh, she was asking me was in terms of handling uh, the service call or handling the discovery call. And so I just shared four things uh, with her and I'm going to just share them with you quickly here. Uh, and obviously we got into a deeper discussion because she was one of my clients. But um, the one thing that you, First thing that you want to do is you want to always stay in control of the call. I can't tell you how many times I've been uh, previously on a call, and this was early on in my business, but I would be on a call and the call just got out of control. Um, they were talking about everything other than what we needed to discuss. And a lot of times it would we would go over the amount of time and I just absolutely had no control over the call. So make sure that you stay in control of the call. Number two, be an active listener. Be an active listener. You really want to be an active listener so that you can listen for key things that they are uh, it may be pain points. It may be uh, their experiences that they've had. It, and it's more than likely going to be things that is really going to contribute to you being able to have a successful discovery call. So be an active listener. Do more listening than talking. Um, the third thing uh, is always provide value. When you provide value, it 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 creates an atmosphere or an environment uh, to let the person know that they are valuable and you're, this is not just a transaction. So you want to make sure that you provide, um, provide some type of value to the call, whether it's some kind of checklist or something that when they walk away from the conversation, uh, they know that they have, they felt served. Okay. Whether they, uh, engage in your service or not, they felt served as a, as a result of being on the call with you. So always provide value. And the last one is always have a system. You should always have some type of automated process, some type of system for your discovery call, some type of automation, right? A link that includes a calendar link, that includes a follow-up uh, email, that includes some type of email sequence, some, something that adds them perhaps to your email sequence. And even in that, if you don't add them to your email, email sequence, uh, you definitely want to have a system and a process for it. So there are things that you can, or there are tons of platforms that you can find that will help you in this process. And so uh, these are the, my four top recommendations now. There obviously there are a lot of ways that you can make this thing sweeter, make the engagement sweeter. And so that's something that I also provide to my clients as they go through my signature, one of my signature uh, programs called the Dream Flow Formula, right? So uh, so if you found this valuable, share this with other coaches, consultants, and service providers that you may know. That's all I have for now. Stay tuned for more on how you can create a dream experience for yourself and for your clients. Have a great day.